What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Liz and I make lifestyle, minimalism, and vegan types of videos here on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications. So today's video is a little late, but I wanted to film this video and I was actually pretty sick on Christmas. Christmas Eve, Christmas, up until like New Year's, I was really sick. So I didn't get a chance to film this video and I still want to do it. So I hope you guys don't mind, but... Um, I debated whether or not to do this video. I was kind of like, should I do this video? Does this video fit with my channel? Because as you guys know, I talk about minimalism all the time on this channel, and I consider myself somewhat of a minimalist. So I was kind of like, is it wrong to show you guys my Christmas gifts? Should I be the type of person who doesn't expect Christmas gifts at all? And I kind of came around to the conclusion that here's how I think about gifts. Myself, personally, I rarely buy anything for myself. When I want something, I usually just don't buy it. So I'll think in the back of my head, yeah, I want that, but I don't need it right now, or like, I don't want to spend the extra money. So I have a hard time buying things for myself. So Christmas and birthdays, to me, is a chance for me to let people know, you know, I'd really been wanting this, but I just didn't buy it for myself. I don't think there's any harm in when people say, what do you want for Christmas, and actually telling them, because I would rather tell someone, hey, you know, I'd been really wanting this, than them get me something that I didn't need, didn't want, and now I'm stuck with this item and I have no idea what to do with this item. While on one hand, you can be totally minimalist and say nothing, I don't want anything for Christmas, I'm good, I have everything I want. Or you could say, hey, you know, here's these things that I've been meaning to get for myself, never got around to it. So I kind of fall somewhere in between where I don't expect gifts, but if someone asks, I will let them know. So I hope you guys understand that. I don't do hauls on my channel, so, so this is really the only type of haul that you're ever going to get on my channel. So I figure a once a year haul, what I got for Christmas, is good. So first things first, I received a wooden box. Um, outside it just looks like, you know, a wooden box, but it's actually a box for essential oils. And I, this was something that I had on like my Amazon wish list or something that I'd been wanting for a long time. It's not an expensive item. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, but it's just a really nice wooden box to store your essential oils. My essential oils collection has been growing and so far I've just been storing them in this broken plastic container. So I figured it might be nice to have something that I can take them around with. I use them a lot in videos so I can just take this out and it's really handy and I like it. It's nice quality and I'm not disappointed with it. Next thing is two records. If you guys don't know, I am a collector of records. I don't often buy records. Pretty much the only time I buy them or receive them is around Christmas. But I had been wanting these two for a while. And if you can't see them, this is the Lumineers, the Cleopatra album. And then this one is Hot Fuss by the Killers. So... I like both of these albums. I haven't actually opened them yet because I need a new speaker for my record player. The one I had kind of broke. So sadly, I haven't been able to listen to them yet, but I have listened to them on Spotify <laughs> multiple times. So the next three items kind of go together. They're all hair things. These are items that my mom gave me. She knows that I've been trying to grow out my hair and not wanting to use heat on it and just trying to keep it healthy and strong, which it's been going good. I mean, it's been growing. So she got me some new headbands. The ones I had had been falling apart from being washed and used so many times. And I really like either scrunchies or these little doodads to put your hair up. They don't break my hair nearly as much as regular hair ties. The next thing I received is actually kind of like funny. It's a, it's a Google Home and I received this from my boyfriend's mom because they went on like super sale on Amazon 
and she ordered like a bunch of them off Amazon Prime and she asked me, she was like, hey, do you want one? I have like a million of them. So she just gave it to me as a Christmas gift and I actually really like it. You can set alarms on it and it plays pretty decent music. If you have like a Spotify account, you can link it up to there and you can ask it like the weather and stuff. It's kind of like, um, you know, a gift that you don't need, but it's fun to have and I appreciated the sentiment. The next is something that my mom gets me like every single year and I love her for it because then I don't have to buy these things and she usually always gets me a new beauty blender to replace my old one and a new mascara and this is the best vegan cruelty free mascara I've ever used. I talk about it all the time on this channel but it is the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara and it's I just get the color Supernova and it's 100% vegan, cruelty free. The next thing is pretty cool. It's something that I had asked for. I just told my mom, I was like, you know what mom, I really need something to put my earrings in or on because they just are scattered about my room. Whenever I take them off, I just kind of place them down. So I wanted somewhere that I could just put them all together. And this is so cute. I don't know where she found this, but it's just this little like gold thing with like all these little holes in it and you just put your earrings in it and it sits like wherever you put it like this and I was like this is so cute thank you mom <laughs> next we got a water bottle I actually don't have my own reusable water bottle I had been just stealing my dad's water bottles and using those and I love this water bottle it is a Swell brand water bottle and I've been using it literally every day since I got it and it keeps the water really cold. What more can I say? And last but not least is this hat with a pom pom in the back. I had really really been wanting a just like basic knit hat with a pom pom and I couldn't find one that I really liked until I found this one. This one's from American Eagle. So that is everything I received for Christmas from various different family members and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just like a fun little, you know, easy video to film. And I love everything I received. And it just goes to show that even if you consider yourself a minimalist or whatever, you can still receive gifts you can still enjoy giving gifts, but it's you want to make sure you're giving people stuff that you know they'll use, you know they'll love, and it won't go to waste. And it's important to either ask for or buy gifts that align with your values. So anytime I give someone makeup or anytime I ask for makeup, I always make sure it's cruelty free and vegan and vice versa, you know, I like giving zero waste gifts, you know, like reusable water bottles, reusable shopping bags, that kind of stuff. Um, so you can, you know, sprinkle your values into the gifts that you give people. Hope everyone had a great Christmas and Christmas is officially over now that I've filmed this video and I am ready to get started with the new year. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.